Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, bringing the update what's going on at the garage. So, 1964 Ford Galaxy. It is the uh, country sedan, that's what they call it. It's a station wagon and it is a very, very cool car. Um, gentleman brought it in because he wants to get rid of these drum brakes and do a disc brake, power disc brake conversion on it. So that's what he brought it in for, but we also found that most of his steering linkage and his power steering setup is either leaking, loose, bad, or it's just old and worn the heck out. All his ball joints are the original ball joints, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, the power valve that we showed you once in the Corvette, the power valve, the control valve, it has to be changed for the power steering and the power steering piston right here has to be replaced because as you can see, it's just leaking a ton. And on the Corvette, what we did, and as a matter of fact, there's the Corvette, we removed this, this, these two lines and those two lines that are up there. I don't know if you could see them. Yeah, there they are. Those two lines off of the Corvette and used a actual power steering box instead of a manual box with all this stuff on it. That always goes bad and always leaks. Um, they just don't make one for this car. So we have to go back to what it originally had, or we can make one fit but it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of money, which a gentleman does not want to spend on this car. So you can see here how old that tie rod end is. I mean, it is just terrible. It, it really needs to be replaced. Um, all the tie rods here, all both of them, are just done. There's nothing good about them. And then his bushings are just completely worn out on the lowers. The uppers aren't that bad, but the lowers, you can see how bad and worn out they are. So we're going to replace all of that. We're also going to be replacing the bushings for the front sway bar. So we got a lot of work to do on this car and uh, do a little bit of engine work on it, get it tuned up, oil change, that kind of stuff. So a lot to do on this car. I'll keep you up to date as we move along. Oh, and another thing we have to do is we have to figure out a rim that's actually gonna fit with a tire because somebody had put these rims and tires on but never measured anything. They ended up putting these big huge spacers in here. The problem is the tire hits the fender and it's starting to crack his fender now because every time it hits, it pulls the metal down, they push the metal back up, but when it hits again, it keeps cracking it. So it keeps pulling all the metal down. And you can see here, see how badly that's getting pulled down. This is starting to get pulled down. Right here has been pulled down. Here it's cracking. So got to figure out what tires are going to fit on here, what rims, and keep it looking cool. Oh, and we're going to lower the car as well. So yeah, the car will get lowered a little bit. Anyhow, that's about it. That's what's going on. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Have fun. Okay, bye.